How are your artistic abilities and how well can you decipher the artwork in others in pictures? This is one of the nominees for the Spiel des Jahres. That's the German board game of the year. Let's talk about it. Thank you for joining me today at Tainter Mouse Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Pictures is a three to five player competitive party game that plays in about 20 to 30 minutes. It's published here in the States by Rio Grande Games, overseas by PD Games. Rio Grande sent us this copy to review. 16 cards are used for the whole game and they're set up in a grid pattern with column and row tokens that you'll put out. Each player takes a score sheet and a group of materials. Here's a quick overview of pictures. Players will be creating their own piece of art with materials that they have based on a picture in a grid of pictures. Players will be going to guess your uh, piece of art and try and guess what picture it represents. And you're going to be guessing others. If you do that well, you're going to be getting some points. At the beginning of each round, all players start with a group of materials and randomly take a token from the bag that will correspond to one of the pictures in the grid. Then players take their materials and try to make an art piece based on that picture to the best of their abilities. After everyone is done, you go around to everyone else's piece of art and try and guess what their picture is. Then you'll go around and reveal the true answers. You'll get points, uh, one point for every opponent that can guess your picture correctly, and you'll get a point as well for every opponent's picture that you can guess correctly. And then you'll start a new round by passing the materials and receiving new ones. The game's over when you have made art from all five types of material. That means there's five rounds in the game. And whoever has the most points wins. Pretty cool, you get to use all the different types of material to make those pictures. There's the shoelaces, the building blocks, the cubes, the cards, and the sticks and stones. And there are these picture tiles that will help you orient your materials properly for you and others. I personally think that cards are the hardest because you are limited by the pictures on the cards, so you really have to think creatively and hope others will do the same when they guess yours. I personally love this type of game. There's very little downtime because it's simultaneous play. You're trying to make the best representation with the materials that you have. And you can go about that different ways. Do you sort of make an outline of the picture? Do you go after the color choices? Or maybe you just pick like one unique item that's in that picture and just do the best that job that you can to see if people can guess it. I think my favorites are the cubes. Cubes because it's like you are making an abstract painting out of them. It has to be a three by three grid, but you can do a lot even in that confined area. Now this is billed as a party game and I would say, yes, it has that party game feel, but the downside is that it only plays up to five players. When I think of a party game, I want it to play at least up to six players and even have it scalable up that you can play even more players if needed. There's a lot of replayability with all the picture cards, what coordinates you might get, and the different materials to make the pictures. There's even three of each coordinate token, so you might see the same picture come up in the same game. And later in the game, you might even pick a coordinate token that someone else had and even have the same material that they have. It's up to you if you want to copy what they did earlier in the game. This experience reminds me a little bit of games like Concept, Cranium, uh, maybe a little bit code names too. Concept because you're combining things together to have people make the right guess. Cranium, the use of materials in Cranium has that Play-Doh and you can use that for people to guess correctly. And then code names, not only because of the grid, but also because you are sort of trying to get people to uh, think about what could be the answer with the different combinations that are out on the board. And there's this other game too called Paranormal Detectives from Lucky Duck Games that has material in them, uh, like uh, like this like hard string wire that they use to um, help players correctly guess. Uh, the clues that are given. So maybe a little bit of par paranormal detectives in there too, but a, a very tactile game pictures is. Some of the pictures are similar to each other, which makes it harder to guess. And you might even mistake one picture for another, depending on what material is used. 
in the picture I just showed you, this was actually in a game I've recently played with pictures and I thought it was going to be the sunset one, but it was actually the stand in the woods. So you can see how close they were. I think that's really cool. One of the hallmarks to me in a party game is to not worry about points. Now it's really easy to track points in pictures, but the fun of the game is in you trying to create the art piece to the best of your ability and trying to guess the others and not really worry about points, even though they're really easy to track. And I think it's like a cherry on the top. The materials are so simple. The players are the ones that have to be created with them, which is pretty cool. Now don't let the artistic theme throw you. We had some friends who were initially not interested in playing this game because of the theme, but the game really draws you in. And I think they really did like it in the end. And they actually want to play it again another day which I really enjoyed playing it again as well. This is one of the nominees for the German board game of the year, the Spiel des Jahres. I'm going to try and do a video that will highlight all the Spiel nominees. They are going to announce the winner in, on July 20th. I'm gonna try and get that video out before they announce the winner so I can tell you what I think, uh, which one I think is the best. So look for that. Uh, probably mid-July before they announce the winner. And if you like this game or if this sounds interesting to you, then check out pictures from Rio Grande Games here in the States. And if you live overseas, check it out from PD Games. And as always, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button on this video.